the best way of thinking of this is as an underwater aircraft. I mean, literally, it's the best word. It's a mirror image of an aircraft that flies underwater. The, the wings, if you look at the cross section, have a normal lift section, so they're curved underneath, and they develop, instead of an upward force, they just develop a downward force. So the craft is positively buoyant. On the surface, the cockpits are sticking out, and you just go and fly. Barrel rolls with the whales, standard on his tail, standard on his nose. The best way of showing that actually is to power it up and show you the flight controls. So, if this was a normal submarine, if you look in cockpit, there would normally be a bunch of valves, gauges, all kinds of knobs and levers. There's none of that. All there is is a small joystick here. And if I push that forward, you see the elevators going down. So right now, this thing would be coming up into a climb. If I left it the way it is right now, <laughs> it would go straight up and now it would be on its back. You'd be upside down. Um, roll, the aerolons are rolling. Excuse me, the rudders are now moving. And that's the aerolons. So this is roll. <laughs> so if I, if I move the stick to the right, excuse me, to the left, the left wing is going to go down. This is going to roll about the speed of my hand, and it will just keep going. So that's why the heads-up instrumentation there provides 360 feedback for pitch and roll. It's fully hydrobatic. It's actually the fourth generation. This particular one is mine. It's beautifully sorted out. <laughs> it's just exquisite to fly underwater with animals. I mean, just think about that flying alongside a whale. When that whale decides to peel off and go straight down, instead of waving it goodbye as you do in a normal submersible, well, in a normal submersible, you're not, you're not even near a whale. But as it goes down, we can just go down with it. And um, there's only two in the world, and it's a lot of fun. <laughs>